This is a college story and music story, and it's one of those that could intertwine with about three or four other things that went down around the same time and with the same people. But I'll keep them as isolated as possible, and if you make it through many of these videos, maybe you can find the parts that tie into each other. College Receipt Music Story During my time at the college, I had been elected to be the Vice President of MISA, Music and Entertainment Industry Students Association. The treasurer and myself had to go gather funds and turn in receipts or something of this nature uh, to the campus accounting department. I forgot about this for so long. It, it was early in my college career and I don't remember just what it was. We had a, an account through the college and they always needed receipts or there, there was some kind of payback. I, the true nature of why we were needing receipts eludes me. The exact transi transaction that needed done, I forget, but the two of us had approached the window and the woman asked how we could be helped. We were both new to handling business like this and we both did our best to explain we needed money from the group's account and to turn in receipts and do something else. She said that she was missing a document or two, so being near closing time, we went to the library just next door to print off what we needed, what she said we needed and made it back just in time before she closed. She started to pull up our account and handed us the papers back and stated, I don't have time for this. You two should have been more organized. I responded, because I believe this was a Friday and I might be getting ahead of myself. I responded, we followed your direction, made it back before closing with the proper paperwork and you're still refusing to do your job. I'll, speaking to, I'll be speaking to administration in the morning. Thank you, ma'am. And I walked away. Upon me getting home, I received a call from the head of the program, the music program at the time, telling me that he needed to talk to me and that we were on a recorded line. He proceeded to inform me that charges won't be pressed and scholastic actions won't be taken as long as I promise not to threaten or intimidate staff and understand that strong-arming someone who is just trying to do their job is uncalled for and further instance, instances will not be tolerated. I was speechless. I'm going to get off top, off the script here for a moment. I had no idea what to say. I knew what he was talking about because the woman just had this presence of noncompliance. And when I saw that it was this teacher calling me, it's like, okay, uh, maybe the treasurer got through maybe maybe some update i don't know but the director wanted me or the director wanted no input from me and he hung up i immediately contacted other faculty and ombudsperson for my case when i came back to the campus after gathering my facts and spoke to the department head again i told him my team was fully prepared to discuss this in an honest light and I was told everything was a formality and that it happens all the time or something of the like. Essentially, he dropped the bogus claim and the woman received many more business ethics complaints in her short duration. I had come to find out. She was cutting students off early. She was really slow to do work for certain people, really quick to do it for others. She was a problematic employee. And my department head was not ready for a student of his to actually have a case together and be not about the bullshit at all. So this is one of those WTF kind of stories, but I feel it played out very well. And maybe I was intimidating because I had a fedora, a Bluetooth in, and I had rings on every finger because it was also about the same time I got kicked out of a mall, which is a different uh, story in and of itself. So, you know, there's the college receipt music story.